It's a medical emergency that happens once every 12 minutes in Canada. A cardiac arrest occurs when the heart stops beating unexpectedly, cutting off blood supply and injuring the brain. But there's a very cool treatment being used for some patients at Sunnybrook who have had a cardiac arrest and are in a coma inducing a state of hypothermia for 24 hours to help the patient recover more fully. Dr. Stephen Brooks, who has spent the last few years researching this treatment, has cooled more than 15 cardiac arrest patients. This um, therapy is meant to cool the body temperature of the patient down to about 34 degrees. Normally we're about 37 degrees Celsius. The patient is cooled by the healthcare team in a variety of ways. Cold IV fluid circulating through the body, bags filled with ice and water placed under the arms, groin and neck, and machine operated cooling blankets like this one. Patients are given sedative medication to keep them comfortable and to prevent shivering, which can impede cooling. It improves the number of people who can walk out of hospital and return to the level of, uh, of life that they had before. Exactly how this happens is still unclear, but the cooling process is thought to protect against cell injury and cell death, and that's great news for patients. Post-cardiac arrest hypothermia is being used at other hospitals across the country, but because Sunnybrook is a larger and high volume center, they have accumulated more experience with this technique. Sunnybrook is also involved in a collaborative study to better understand the best way to deliver this type of treatment to patients, knowing so many who could benefit are currently missing out. With Sunnyview, I'm Monica Mattis.